Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and I've been kind of on an ice cream kick lately, so today we're making Sunday inspired cupcakes. If you've seen any of my previous caking videos, then you know that I am obsessed with Glorious Treats, perfect chocolate cupcakes recipe. And if this is going a bit fast for you, have no fear, I'm going to post the original link down in the description box below. What I love about this chocolate cupcake recipe is that it's all one bowl. I hate having to dirty multiple dishes. With cupcakes, you want to mix a little bit longer than just combined, but don't worry if there are a few chunks here and there. I think I mix this batter for approximately 30 seconds. Any longer and you're going to get an overworked batter. I have made this Italian meringue buttercream in several videos, so if you want to go see a detailed description of how I make this, I will post a link right in that right hand corner. This has been whipping for a few minutes and the consistency is good, but there's still room to make it even more light and fluffy, so I'm going to continue whipping it. It's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but that is significantly more light and fluffy and it's the perfect consistency for our cupcakes. Take some fresh cherries and make sure to give them a good wash. Using some white chocolate candy melts in bright white from Wilton's, I am just going to melt this down in a double boiler. You can do this in your microwave super, super easily and with way less time, but my microwave is still broken. Whenever I'm using candy melts to dip, I always use a significant amount of vegetable oil just to get that smooth consistency. What's great about cherries is that they have that stem, so in order to whirl off some of that chocolate, it's really, really easy. And make sure that you add those sprinkles fairly soon after you dip it into the chocolate. Since cherries are pretty small, I'm using a sanding sugar today. You can use a chunkier sprinkle, but I would suggest you only use that if you have bigger cherries. I always use this type of piping insert when I want to use multiple tips. So since I'm going to be using a star tip later on, I'm actually just utilizing this as my round tip. When you're piping this portion, you don't want to put too much on because you are going to add a lot on top as well. I like to think of it as going two and a half times around the cupcake. This cupcake recipe made me 26 cupcakes this time around, and I did need to make a little bit more buttercream. So if you're making this buttercream recipe, I suggest you double my original recipe and then you will have enough. We're going to be drizzling warm chocolate on top of these, so it's important that they go into the fridge for at least 20 minutes. Today I'm using dark chocolate chips and I've added some vegetable oil to it as well because I do want it to kind of drip down the sides of the cupcake. Then I'm taking it and putting it into these tipless bags. Yes, I know I used a tip earlier, but now I'm going to use it in the tipless fashion. And I'm just kind of drizzling this all over, almost making a star pattern on the top of the cupcake so that it drizzles down nicely. I want it to look fairly natural. Make sure that you sprinkle in between a few cupcakes at a time because you don't want that chocolate 
chocolate to harden up before you can get those sprinkles on there. Today I'm using some multicolored sprinkles. These are really popular and can be found at the grocery store. But if I had my choice of any sprinkles, I think I would do some sort of fun sprinkle mix. But this is what I had on hand. So this is where it comes in handy where I used that insert before and I attached a star tip to this. I'm swirling this a few times and I'm making sure that I'm kind of directing a lot of it towards the outside of the swirl because the cherry is going to go directly on top. With any of the steps involving chocolate, make sure that you stick it into the fridge for at least 10 minutes so that everything sets up so it's really easy for you to work with. These are so adorable. They kind of look like chocolate sundaes, but they also kind of look like those over-the-top milkshakes as well. So it would be super cute if you added a little straw, either made out of paper or a chocolate straw would look really nice in this as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of this sweetie fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!